For a thousand years, this nightmare happens over and over. A foolish mortal yearns for eternal life, to rise from the dead. Tangled in darkness, they become a horror, a putrid. Now this is your nightmare. It's too late. There is no salvation, no escape. A body without a soul is cursed. The map consists of the embers and shadow corruption. Each embers contains a soul spark, while the shadow corruption contains several soul lanterns. Heroes in the embers or near soul lanterns regain health, while they lose health over time within the other shadow corruption. Evil Ents lose health over time in the embers, but they are not affected by the shadow corruption. Heroes must collect ratins that are dispersed within the shadow corruption and transport them to soul sparks. In Omni's Nightmare, players will be randomly assigned to one of the three factions, Evil Ent, Evil Ent Lord, and Heroes. Heroes must hand in Rattans to light the three soul sparks in time. Handing in Rattans grants Dark Tide coins that can be exchanged for equipment, armor, and weapons. Some of these items are exclusive. Heroes may attack each other and even identify another hero by double-clicking the scroll wheel. Heroes that are identified become easier to defeat with each identify count. So, don't forget to identify suspicious heroes you spot nearby. Heroes may use their skills and ultimates to fight the evil Ents or dodge their attacks. After death, each hero will turn into a spirit and have one chance to respawn at soul altars near soul sparks. Evil Ents have all new attacks and skills. Left click to launch a melee attack or right click for a throw attack. They can use their skill to go into stealth and leave fake ratins on the ground with their ultimate. A hero picking up a fake ratin will be bound for a short time. Evil Ents may level up by killing heroes thereby becoming more resistant to the embers. Evil Ents may respawn as many times as they want and without losing levels. Do all you can to stop the heroes from handing in ratins. Evil Ent Lords spawn as Evil Ents, but may use their ultimate to turn into a hero. They have the same skill as other Evil Ents. Evil Ent Lords are important characters that will make the embers disappear for a while upon handing in Rattans as a hero. The other heroes cannot hand in Rattans and will be silenced for as long as the embers are gone. Evil Ent Lords must be careful not to blow their cover in the early game and call out to the other Evil Ents at the right moment to wipe out the heroes in the embers. Evil Ent Lords will respawn as Evil Ents and lose their ability to disguise the first time they die. Upon then, their ultimate changes to that of a common Evil Ent. Heroes may no longer attack or identify one another after all evil Ent Lords are killed. Heroes win when all three soul sparks are lit. The evil Ents or evil Ent Lords win if they defeat all heroes or if the heroes fail to light all soul sparks in time. The game enters overtime after the countdown ends. If Heroes light at least 240% soul spark. The overtime timer stops if the heroes hand in ratins and the duration is greatly extended. Heroes and evil Ents both need to grasp this last chance for victory. In Omni's Nightmare, it is vital to tap into your full potential and use voice chat. Evil Ents and heroes may only communicate nearby members of their faction, while evil Ent Lords can hear and be heard by all. 
Omni's Nightmare, Faction vs. Mode. Available on March 11th.